everyone welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new I'm Natalie Minnick I'm a mom of two toddler boys and on my channel I share lots of cleaning motivation I do decorating along with some DIY projects as well if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet I'd really love it if you subscribe to my channel and if you like today's video if you gave it a thumbs up I would really love that in today's video, I am going to be decorating for fall. I'm super excited to show you guys everything that I have. But first, I want to share that I am doing a collaboration with Emily from Gridiron and Grace. She has awesome decorating videos. She also does a lot of cleaning motivation. She shares delicious recipes as well. And just the way she decorates is just absolutely gorgeous. Definitely go ahead and check out her channel. Again, it's Gridiron and Grace, and be sure to leave her a comment and let her know I sent you. So I'm starting to take out everything that I already have for my fall decor. I went to stores. I didn't really see anything new that I really liked. So I'm going to be using a lot of decor that I've had for the last couple years or that I got new last year. And here I was just showing you guys, I love having this vase full of the pumpkins and gourds and stuff so I just do that every year so what I did was I put saran wrap on there add a little bit of tape and then now none of the dust is getting in there while it's sitting in the closet over the last you know couple months so and then same with these flowers I hate when the flowers get really dusty it's hard to clean them so while it's sitting in my cabinet downstairs in the closet downstairs, I just added, I put a Ziploc bag over those flowers and now they're not getting dusty and dirty while they're not being used. So that was just like my little tip and trick that I wanted to share with you guys for while I store it away. I did give everything a little wipe down cause it has been sitting in the closet. It is a little dusty and I absolutely love this hurricane vase thing here. I don't really know what to call it. I know it's called hurricane something, but I do love this. I just need to still get a good candle for this. I really want to get one of those large candles to put in here, um, or even three smaller candles that are just like this, but maybe like taller and a little thicker, but this is, I just love the way this thing looks. So I am going to definitely decorate with this too. For fall, my thing is like I love candles. I love like the warmth. I love the warm tones of the fall colors. You know, the browns and the oranges and the rustic orange and all that stuff. So I love fall colors and how warm everything feels and cozy. So that's what I'm kind of playing off of for when I decorate for fall. I try to pull a lot of those colors into my decor. So here I actually am pulling out my Halloween bin. I keep a lot of my fall decor in here as well. And I don't decorate for Halloween yet. I will decorate for Halloween um, the first weekend of October, last weekend of September. But I do like having a lot of fall things out still. So like I decorate the first weekend of September is when I decorate for fall. And then I actually keep that decorate the fall decorations. Then for Halloween, I put Halloween decorations up. I take the Halloween decorations down and I keep the fall decor still there for November for Thanksgiving. So I really need to just get a separate bin for just my fall decor because then I don't have to cram everything into this one bin and have to dig through all the Halloween stuff. So you guys are kind of getting a little preview of my Halloween decor as well. So that white pumpkin was a DIY project I did last year. I bought one of those light up pumpkins that you just plug in from Walmart. And I just got some chalk white, off white paint. And I painted the pumpkin. It is so cool because when you light it up, when you plug it in and it lights up, it gives you that glow of the orange hues still. And I am just obsessed with how this turned out. So you guys will see that later when I show you guys like the decor at nighttime. But it just looks so cool when you plug it in and the orange hues are still coming through. But then like during the day, it's just white and 
it matches everything and it's not like a super obnoxious orange sitting on my counter there. So that is like my favorite pumpkin that I have and I definitely want to do more, but we are moving hopefully in the next year. So I really don't want to buy too much decor until we move and I know what our space is going to look like. So that's why I'm really not going too all out with this because I know we're moving and I don't want to buy stuff that isn't going to work in our new space. And here is just all the decor that I am going to be putting out. This is the fall decor that I've had for a couple of years or that I got last year. And it just like really works in our space. It's not too much, but it gives that pop and that warmth that I'm looking for. And I'm going to show you guys how I decorate with all that stuff here. So first I'm going to start on this bookshelf case and this is all underneath here is the kids books, some kids toys. I have a couple bins at the bottom where I keep candles and other like knickknack decor stuff. Um, but I just like decorating the top of this because it kind of is our walkway area going into our kitchen and then into the living room. So I really, otherwise it's kind of empty there. So I really like giving this a nice little, you know, pop of something. <laughs> so this is why I decorate this area. And you'll see that I'm keeping some of the things the same that I did for the summer, but I'm just adding to it or taking things away as well. I did share a video where I decorated for the summer and I went to Kirkland's and I got the large vase that you see there on the right with the greenery and the little um, lavender flowers in there. I got that from Kirkland's and I absolutely love that thing. I wish and I'm still looking. I didn't lose hope yet, but I'm looking for like a very soft, uh, like rustic orange hue type plant as you can see I have the lavender there I wish I can find that in like a rustic really light orange um but I haven't found that yet but if I do I will put that into that vase as well just to give a little bit more of the warm um orange tones <laughs> And I got this candle from Kirkland's. As you saw, I was just unwrapping that. I put saran wrap with some tape just to hold in the scent and keep that nice and fresh for this year as well. So I want to share this hack with you guys. I shared it in my summer decor video, but I just love it so much. It was the viral TikTok thing where you grab a plate and a bowl from Target. They were 50 cents each. You turn the bowl upside down. You put the plate on top. You can super glue it, hot glue it, whatever to make it stay. And you have this really cute tray for decorating. And it just gives a lot of dimension to the space and just really adds a new level for decorating, which I just absolutely love. Next up, I'm going to decorate this area that's under our TV. Here you can see this was how I decorated for summer. I did share a video on how I decorated for summer, so you can definitely check that out. But now I'm going to go ahead and decorate for fall. So I went ahead and gave everything a light dusting just to get any dust off of there. And now I'm going to go ahead and start adding some fall decor. So this pumpkin was my DIY project last year. I just got a pumpkin from Walmart. It had a light bulb in there already. So you just plug it in and it lights up. And I just really didn't want that orange color just sitting on my counter there. So I got some white chalk paint and painted it all white. I did two or three layers of that. And I love how it looks white, but when you light it up, you can see the orange through it. And at night, it is so cute. I absolutely love this pumpkin. And I'm going to get a few more to do. But like I said earlier, we're moving. So I really don't want to get too much right now until I know where I can put things when we move. But I just think it's so cute. And you'll have to tell me if it's just me or you guys think it's really cute as well. I just love that cozy warmth feeling that you get when it's all lit up. So to plug it in, of course, the cord was too short. So I ended up getting an extension cord there. And it ended up being a power strip because I didn't have an extension cord. But it actually worked out. 
I hit the power strip behind this decor right here and it's easy because then I can just turn the on and off button of the power strip to turn on the pumpkin. So that worked out really nicely. Next, I'm going to add these glitter pumpkins. I ended up getting them from the dollar store three or four years ago, and I just find them so cute. They're holding up so well, so I haven't gotten rid of them yet, and I just really like putting them out, so I just pretty much try to make it work. So I'm just moving the greenery out of these tin cans here, and I'm going to put the pumpkins on here. And it kind of just gives that fall vibe instead of that more spring summery vibe. So I do like having those there. And it also gives that pop of orange that I love. And now you just see me kind of messing around to see if I can add this wooden pumpkin decor in this area. I ended up not liking it. It just kind of took away from my candles and just kind of made it a little too cluttered looking there and I ended up just leaving the decor how it is right now I just left it be so and you can see I'm trying to add another little pumpkin here just to see if I can break up and add a little bit more but I just really didn't like it it almost just felt like I was putting it there just to put it there and it wasn't like really fitting nicely in the area so I'm not going to add that either, and you'll see that I just have the three glitter pumpkins and then my light-up pumpkin and then these amazing candles that I'll talk about in one second, um, and that's all the decor. It's nice and simple, but gives that warmth that I like and that I'm looking for. So for these candles on the candle stands here, I have been on the hunt for rechargeable candles where you don't have to put batteries in. The ones I had before were battery operated. I absolutely love them, but I hated changing the batteries all the time. So I was on the hunt for rechargeable ones. Guys, I am obsessed with these candles. They work great. I only charged them once I got them two weeks ago two weeks ago I believe I got them I only charged them once so far and they're still lasting they come on at 6 38 p.m they go off at 10 38 p.m and because I have them on a timer they also change colors too I'm not a big fan of any other color besides the orange here I just showed you guys the battery ones that I'm going to be using for decor over here but anyways, I'll leave a link below. They're amazing candles if you are looking for that warmth and not actually having to remember to always light your candles. These are a great option. So now I'm just going to decorate my island area here. These are the battery operated candles I was mentioning earlier there. And again, I really like them. I like the way they look. I just can't stand constantly changing batteries. So Anyways, I'm going to use them to put in this hurricane vase thing and have that as decor for this area. I just won't have these candles lit up. Maybe I'll put batteries in to turn on occasionally, but I won't have them on a timer. So for the island here, I just kept it really simple. I have the hurricane vase. I actually put a stand in there to lift up the candles. I have the wooden pumpkin and then I have my glass pumpkin here where I actually just took a thing of ribbon. I undid it and I just shoved all the ribbon in there and it looks really cute in there. So that's how I de decorated for this area. For the bathroom, I always like to change up the color. So for summer, I have the yellow here. For fall, I do orange. So I'll have the pumpkin. And I'm still trying to find some other tall element for the bathroom for fall. I just haven't really found anything yet. So I'm just using this vase here. This is the greenery from the living room that I wasn't going to use right now that I'm popping in there, but I still am on the hunt looking for something that's tall for this space to give it some dimension to put next to the pumpkin here. But this is what I got right now. So that's what I'm going to do. But yeah, so yellows for summer, then I have the orange here and then in the winter red for 
like Christmas time and then January, February, March, I do a dark blue and then I will bring yellow back out. So I like to just kind of change up the colors and I have different color towels as well. And that's the other thing. I'm on a hunt for fall towels for the bathroom. I have Halloween towels, but I don't have anything for the bathroom for fall yet. So that's another thing that I am looking for. For the plant up top here, I'm still trying to figure out how to get it to lay right, but I just love how flowy it is. And I actually ended up getting this plant from Ikea out of a home places. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and change out the pillow covers here in the living room. So just like the bathroom, I like to change seasonally. And this for this season, I'm going to be doing the orange pillow cases, which is going to be for September, October, and November. And then Christmas time, I have red cases. And then January, February, March, I usually do a navy blue. And then in the summer, I have that this teal color here. So I do like to change them out. I just feel like it gives it a nice pop of color and it kind of like changes up throughout the year as well. I love how versatile these pillowcases are and especially when you're just trying to add a pop of color and change up your decor. It is nice having the pillowcases where it's something simple and easy. It's easy to store as well for you know, it's not taking up a lot of room in your cabinet or in a drawer or anything, and it just freshens up the area for every season. I'll leave a link for the pillowcases in the description box below, and there's so many colors. There's probably like 20, maybe even 30 colors. I haven't looked for quite a while, but there was so many colors when I went to uh, order the ones that I do have. Another tip and trick for when you're buying pillowcases is whatever size your pillow is, you want to buy one size down for your pillowcase. So then it's nice and tight on your pillow and it gives it that definition that you're looking for and that fullness and that fluffiness. So yeah, so whatever size pillow you are buying, just look for the size under that and that's the size you want to buy for your pillowcase. And here you can see I'm just going ahead and making sure all the pillows corners are lining up with the pillowcases just to make sure everything is lined up and it gives it that nice sharp look that you're looking for at the end. I love how the simplest things can make the world of a difference. You know, having the teal color cases, pillowcases in here, it just like felt spring and summerish. And now having the warm tones for the pillowcases just brings it down to like cozy and comfy and ready to snuggle up and watch a movie. So I just love how a different color of your pillowcases or any decor can really change change up the mood and the atmosphere of a room. So I love changing the pillowcases. And then, you know, I feel like you don't get sick of your same decor all the time. And right after I did it, Emma, our dog, snuggled up and got cozy on the pillows. And here, I just want to share what it looked like at night. Look at the candles, how cute they are, how much warmth and coziness, and my pumpkin too, that orange color that pops out. So in the kitchen, I didn't do much. I put the pumpkin on our table here. I had the little salt and pepper shaker that I put on our stove and it just gives a nice little touch everywhere you are in the house. And lastly, I went ahead and bought a new wreath for our door. And I just wanted to share with you guys me setting it up and how it all looks. So in the box here, as you can see, it looks really small, but once you get it out and you fluff it out, fluff it up a little bit, once it's hanging, it really gets full and looks good. So bear with me as I show you guys how I got that done. So the green reef here, I'm actually going to go ahead and throw that one out. It's 
shedding like crazy and I've had it for two years. I got it from Hobby Lobby. I definitely wouldn't recommend that one. The little leaves were everywhere and it was just creating such a mess, but I did want to get a second year out of that wreath. So, but this was the second year, so it is going in the trash now. Here's a wreath that I purchased on Amazon. I always get nervous when I purchase something like this because I didn't see it in person. So my thing is when I'm ordering on Amazon, I just make sure I get something that is free returns. And then worst case, if I really don't like it, I can always return it then. But this one has been amazing. I feel like the quality is really good. Nothing's really breaking off. I feel like it got nice and full. And, you know, it is full still even after spreading out everything, all the branches. And overall, I'm just like super happy and I really like it. I will include a link for this in my description box in case any of you guys like it as much as I do. And that wraps up my fall decor for this year. I hope you guys got some tips and tricks along the way and just had fun decorating with me. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, see ya.